the heir to Zlatan Ibrahimovic finally delivered for Sweden at the World Cup. Emil Forsberg scored a deflected goal in the 66th minute to give the Swedes a 1 0 victory over Switzerland on Tuesday and a place in the World Cup quarterfinals for the first time in 24 years. Shy and understated, the 26 year old Forsberg couldn't be more different than the larger than life Ibrahimovic who ruled the Sweden team for more than a decade and was the greatest player the country ever produced. But Forsberg arrived in Russia shouldering the creative burden left by Abrahamovic following his retirement two years ago, and the attacking midfielder's skills and slick movements stood out at street. Petersburg Stadium.His goal was scruffy, though. After getting past Granit Zaka, Forsberg didn't get much power behind his shot from the edge of the area, and it was likely heading straight for Switzerland goalkeeper Jan Sommer. However, it took a deflection off the foot of centre-back Manuel Akanji and bounced up and into the net. It was enough to make Sweden the fifth European team to reach the quarterfinals. The Swedes will next play either England or Colombia on Saturday in Samara. The last time Sweden made it this far at the World Cup was in 1994, when the team reached the semi-finals. This was another opportunity spurned by the Swiss, who have reached the last 16 in four of the last five World Cups, only to be eliminated without scoring a goal. They haven't scored in a knockout game in soccer's biggest tournament in 64 years, when they last reached in the quarterfinals at home in 1954. They finished the game with 10 men after right-back Michael Lang was sent off in stop-page time for a professional foul on Sweden substitute Martin Olsen. The referee initially awarded a penalty kick, but later gave a free kick on the edge of the area after a video review. Switzerland was fortunate to still be alive at that point. Abrahamovic, 36 and now playing out his illustrious career in the United States, would surely have put away some of the first half chances created by his countrymen against a fragile Switzerland defense which was missing the suspended Fabian Schaar and Stefan Lichtsteiner. Striker Marcus Berg was the biggest culprit, spurning two openings in quick succession, while Alban Ekdal volleyed over with the goal at his mercy. The Swedes were limited but played to the strengths that got them past Italy in the two-leg World Cup playoff and to the top of a group containing defending champion Germany, Mexico, and South Korea. Their long balls forward caused panic and they were more bullish in their tackling in midfield. The Swiss certainly weren't playing like a team ranked number six in the world and with only one loss in their previous 25 games. Their build-up play was sloppy, with the best effort falling to Remo Fruller with a late header, that was saved by Robin Olsen. Suspended. Sweden right-back Mikkel Lustig will miss the quarterfinals after collecting his second yellow card of the tournament for a tug on Josep Dramic in the first half. The team will have Sebastian Larsson back from a ban, however, and the holding midfielder should go straight back into the starting lineup. Big Blunders. A low quality match featured some of the worst finishing seen so far at the World Cup, and two efforts stood out. Lustig dragged a long range attempt in the first half sideways, and it went out for a throw in. Then, in the second half, Zaka lined up a shot from outside the area and very nearly whiffed. Bar watch. There was another success for the video assistant referee. Referee Damers Kamina's decision to award the late penalty against Lang looked correct at the time, but a review showed Olsen was just outside the box when he was tripped. It didn't matter, though. Switzerland didn't have a chance to get to the other end after the resulting free kick was saved. 